One of the most common questions I get on my videos and on Twitter is what should I use to cool my CPU? And no matter who asks that question or how many times it has been asked, I always have the same response. I literally have no idea. You see, there are just way too many variables hidden within that simple question to give an accurate response. But in order to try to create a jumping off point, I've teamed up with Be Quiet to try to show you guys where to start when looking for a cooler. I've been working with Be Quiet for a long time and probably the most consistently excellent part of their product lineup is their selection of CPU coolers. They offer everything from the low end to the extreme and that's why they were the perfect partner for this type of video. In front of me on the table, which is unfortunately I guess a little wobbly, we have six different products covering the entire spectrum of CPU cooling use cases. We'll start from the low end and work our way up. But first, I wanna clarify a term that you'll probably hear me say repeatedly in this video, TDP. TDP stands for thermal design power, and it means the maximum amount of heat that can be dissipated by a specific cooling system. So if your goal is to make your chip as cool as possible, higher is better when it comes to TDP. But TDP isn't the be all and end all when it comes to cooling. Many other factors play in, including price, aesthetics, size, and acoustics. So you'll have to weigh all of those factors before you make your next purchase. First up is this tiny guy here, the Pure Rock Slim. With a TDP of 120 watts and both the smallest footprint and height in our roundup today, this is perfect for small form factor builds sporting CPUs that aren't throwing off a lot of heat. Because it's so short, it fits in most cases without a problem, but don't go strapping this to a 7980XE and expect good results. In fact, the mounting mechanism is only designed for mainstream Intel and AMD motherboards. The Pure Rock Slim uses three six millimeter heat pipes and an aluminum fin stack with a 92 millimeter fan blowing across it. The fin stack has a bare aluminum finish on the top, which while color neutral might clash with some builds. One thing you won't have to worry about here is memory clearance, as generally there won't be any overlap with the dim slots. Mr. Slim would work best with an Intel Celeron processor or maybe a low-end i3 like an 8100 or some SKUs in the Ryzen 3 lineup like the Ryzen 3 1200 or the new 2200G APU. Just keep in mind that the smaller fan will need to spin faster to move a good amount of air and as a result this will be the loudest cooler in today's lineup. Next up, and sharing many of the same design cues of the Slim, but on a larger scale, we have the Pure Rock. The Pure Rock bumps up thermal capacity to 150 watts by adding a fourth heat pipe, increasing the size of the fin stack itself and using a larger 120 millimeter fan for airflow. Memory clearance is still excellent as this is your typical tower style air cooler and is still narrow enough that there should be little interference with RAM sticks. The Pure Rock would fit perfectly in a standard ATX case, as well as the majority of micro ATX chassis and probably 70-ish percent of ITX builds. If you're thinking i3 8350K, i5 8400, Ryzen 5 1400 or 2400G, the Pure Rock should be on your short list. Just having been released last week, the brand new Dark Rock 4 steps our cooling game up big time. With six heat pipes, a large 135 millimeter Silent Wings fan, and support for the addition of a second 120 millimeter fan with the included mounting bracket, the Dark Rock 4 can handle up to 200 watts of heat from your CPU. In addition to much improved cooling capacity, you also get a completely stealth black appearance highlighted by thermally conductive black coating with ceramic particles and a black brushed aluminum top. The back of the heatsink also sports what Be Quiet calls wave contoured cooling fins, which is meant to optimize heat dissipation off of the back of the fin stack as air flows through. The 135 millimeter fan is super quiet as its name would suggest, but just be aware that this 
is significantly larger in basically every dimension than the others we've been looking at so far. At about 160 millimeters tall and fairly wide, you'll need to check memory compatibility and clearance. Don't just assume this will work with your fully populated four slots of Dominator Platinum, because on most motherboards, it probably won't. Still though, because of its superior cooling ability, this is perfect for an i5-8600K, i7-8700K with mild overclock, Ryzen 5 1600X or 1700 or 2700 in the new Ryzen 7 line. The next two coolers on the table here are different generations of the same cooler, the Dark Rock Pro. On the left is the Pro 3, and on the right, the brand new Pro 4. Now, the Dark Rock Pro 3 has been around for a few years and has been lauded as one of the absolute best air coolers on the market when it comes to performance, because the biggest complaint about it was its extremely inconvenient mounting mechanism that was unnecessarily complicated and really difficult to access. Well, the Dark Rock Pro 4 has kept the same 250 watt TDP, the same dual fin stack, dual fan design, and the same seven heat pipes, but redesigned the way you affix the cooler to your motherboard. Now you simply unscrew the little knobs at the top and use the included magnetic screwdriver to reach all the way down to the screw at the base of the socket. Additionally, Be Quiet has rotated the top aluminum plate so that while the cooler is sitting in your case, the logo is right side up. That's the little things, you know? The Dark Rock Pro 4 still uses the same ceramic coating found on the Dark Rock and also has these little dimples on the heatsink fins to increase surface area for additional cooling. This is a monster CPU cooler and you'll probably need low profile memory to use it, but it's perfect for squeezing that max overclock from your i7-8700K or Ryzen 7 1800X or 2700X. It would also work great on the lower end of Intel's enthusiast platform, the i7-7800X and 7820X. But maybe you're sick of air coolers. Maybe it's time to step up your game and you're rocking an i9-7900X or a Threadripper 1950X. Maybe you even have an 8700K that you know can hit 5.35 gigahertz if you just push it enough. Well then, it's time to step up to an AIO. This is the Silent Loop 280, and as you may be able to tell, I've actually used this unit quite a bit, and with good reason. It has an all copper 280 millimeter radiator and twin Silent Wings 140 millimeter fans for both maximum heat dissipation and extremely low noise. The block top has a nice brushed aluminum finish and a fill port allowing you to service or top off the coolant and extend the life of the silent loop. The tubing has a unique bend and pinch protection system and with no big fin stack to worry about, memory compatibility is universal. In a video from last year, I compared eight different AIOs including many 360 millimeter models and this one right here, the silent loop 280 came out on top. It's an impressive piece of engineering and it's the best that Be Quiet has to offer. So what's your configuration and what cooler do you prefer? Let me know down below in the comments. Also don't forget to check out links to all of the products featured here in this video down in the description if you think they might work for your build. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.